from yeah. I love this theme. This is a great theme. Oh! Thank you. Money is actually kind of necessary this time around for a yes, little bit. Yes, it is. And we're actually, we're going to be spending a bit grinding just to get a few uh, hundred bucks for... Uh, obnoxious items? For obnoxious... <laughs> yeah, and... Yeah. I want to understand something. Can you lift the skull? Yeah, not until we get the power bracelet. So the rocks are less dense than the skulls? Yes. Wow. That's fine. Well, it also depends on the on the size of the skull. I doubt that's a dragon skull, Elliot. Yeah, and I doubt it's made of, out of stern stuff, so... Calling bullshit on you, Link's Awakening DX. <laughs> nah, that's cool, you're alright. <laughs> yeah, you gave me that 30 bucks Well, thankfully, night. we don't have to start... Who is this Whoa. motherfucker here? He just gave me a rupee. Oh, no, no, guys. He turned into I, a rupee. Yeah. As a <laughs> raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dusted powder. So just whip a fart out. Okay, well, we don't have our item yet. We you should to totally fart on him. Okay, I'll... I'll the dragon I'll, shouted I'll, in his mouth. Let me, let me go up here and get a good distance. <laughs> oh, you're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> what? Can I stab him? Oh, no, hold on a second. You know, I'll ignore your advice. What the shit? What did he do? He turned into a moblin? He warped me to the beginning of the forest area. Oh, well, that around works. here. Oh, wait, wait. There's supposed to be a fairy there. Wait a minute. You didn't give him the mushroom. Uh, Your fault. <laughs> oh, okay, <that's> fine. <laughs> or maybe you got to eat the mushroom to see the fairy. <laughs> I read it. Oh, okay. Well, piece of power. You got a piece of the Triforce? Piece that's what I thought. Piece of power. Yeah. Wonder, uh, uh, Hyrule in delight. Piece of power. <laughs> well, that just makes me feel all right. <laughs> oh, but I love like how violently enemies react. That I do too. Jesus. Yeah, they just go fucking. I would love it if they like kind of did like a pinball thing. Dun, 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 You're dun, going dun. faster too. Yeah, you move twice as fast for some reason with it. This kicks the shit out of the acorn. Yeah, it does. Well, I mean, a, a good defense is a good offense. Hello, how are you doing? Double, double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. Okay, well now what? Okay, well let's give for the mushroom. <laughs> I thought b bubble, double, toil, and trouble. Oh. I have a. I just shaved last week. I have a bit of a stubble. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, just really mixing the fuck out of it. <laughs> and my exit stool into the bowl. See, you said mix the fuck out of it. I'm yeah. thinking of like old Ego Raptor when he did animation. You know, Mega Man. Um, awesome. It was uh, his awesome version of Mega Man. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, the yeah. magic powder. You get two legs, mix them in a bowl, mix the fuck out of them, and what do you get? Penis! Magic That's Powder is funny. returning from Link to the Past. It has multiple purposes. It can transform some enemies into some weird fucking looking things. Uh, example A. What the fuck? You still can't hurt it, though. You attempt to touch it, you get electrified. Uh, it looked like a walking green deck. Well, you get this <laughs> Wait, you set him. It sets moblins on fire. Jesus. Like, holy shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like, I'm a monster. No, you're not. Yeah, you're right, I'm not. They're the monsters. Exactly. But it's the link between you and the... Between the character and the player. I so thought really, you were going to say the link between worlds. I don't know why. <laughs> so really, you are the monster. Nah, I don't think I am. <laughs> I just don't think I am. That's what everyone says. But then... There's some powder on them, dude. Look at, look at the Moblin turn into. No, no, into. you see map, but that's how the terrorists win. <laughs> By throwing powder on the Moblins? Yes. Fuck. But what do moblins look like when you we throw powder at them? I like to imagine they burn in a bright orange skin. And their hair turns blonde. <laughs> uh, essentially. Jesus. Oh, I'm just making sure. Right here. Being very methodical with my... <laughs> he fell. And I laughed. <laughs> and then I felt sad. All right. So we got our magic powder. We need to go sprinkle that at that dickhead raccoon. I was telling you, just put. I'm telling you, just give him a homemade Dutch oven. He'll, put, he'll leave. <laughs> homemade Dutch oven. No, what you do, you. Oh, you mean no, like what? one of those easy bake ovens? Sure, John. Whatever. Nope. Yes. Oh, oh there, there, there you are. Where the hell were you earlier? Uh, I'm sorry, I was late. Oh, right. You actually had to get the power for it. So you actually, you remember Zelda one had oh, you're at full house. Oh yeah, that could have been it. Maybe I was at full house and that you know, just like, oh, hey, you stingy little dick. <laughs> a thing I just noticed here: the uh, fairies of Eastern descent. It's just something to point out. Like, you know how they usually go, like, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman for the uh, fairy? This time around, it's decidedly Eastern. Well, Wait to the Past had uh, brunettes, and um, I'll never forget the Great Fairy. How can you? She yeah. took up, like, three squares. <laughs> hey, but she gave you the best shit in the game. Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, Matt. All right, where's that fucking raccoon at? Matt, homemade Dutch oven, you fart in a jar and then give it to him. 
That's actually a weapon that thinks worth throwing. Why would you <laughs> fart in a jar? Why wouldn't you fart in the jar? It's not a real answer to a question that I'm pretty... <laughs> never mind. Just never mind. <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. I'm serious. Let's go find that fucking... Why would you fart in a jar? The When you compact a fart in a jar, then you save it up, and then you like let it out on somebody else. It's like a trap. Oh, I hate this. Every time you rub against the rock without the power braces on, I always comment. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, this rock's pretty heavy. I'm like, I know! I didn't mean to do that. I can't lift a heavy rock. No shit, Link. <laughs> <laughs> You're going left at that junction. Go back up and then up the left. Uh, the fuck on. Like, these things. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate acorns. <laughs> so many acorns. What do they do to you? You know, I never actually bitten one. I always step on them. Yeah, that would piss me off. I have too. a squirrel seeing these things. What? Well, we sprinkled shroom dust on them. What do you think? <laughs> the same thing would happen to me. No, it's cocaine. Okay, whatever you want to your boy. Hey, oh, Mario! It was Terran! Last thing I can remember is biting into a big, juicy toadstool. Oh, he was on the shroom. How the yeah. hell did, Wait, hold on. How the fuck did he get that power? What do you mean? He has the power to reset you back to the beginning of the forest. How the fuck did he do that It just by thinking he's a raccoon? I don't know. I mean, the real answer, it's her to her Mario reference. <laughs> but in reference, I, I, I like in context of the universe, I don't fucking know. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gates. I can imagine his attack. Did someone say progression? God damn it. <laughs> Woot, take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. I can't. You're talking. The windfish is waiting. Woot. Are you sleeping? See, I couldn't even hear you because the text box covered your mouth. <laughs> so you were muffling that entire time. Can you, can you say that again? I like to imagine that the tail key is actually a really tacky looking car key with like a little tail dangling from it. <laughs> yeah, a little, little rabbit foot. Yeah, uh, like this that. This is our next area of interest. We'll come back here later. There's a telephone tree right there. Yeah, no. The, it's basically a hint system, if I remember correctly. Hey, stupid, go left. Essentially. All right, we're going to head back to the village and then we're actually going to get a few things and start our, our game long item trading quest. That was such a, I, I ignored the whole thing until the end game. And I was like, oh, fuck. That's what I got out of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of need to do it in order to progress with the game up until you get the bananas. Bananas? Uh, oh, banana. Yeah, you need, uh, you need to do the trading quest up to a certain point in order to get to the next area of the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot if you complete that. the item trading quest, you get the boomerang, which is disgustingly overpowered in this game. I think I know why, too. The boomerang out of all items. I think, I'll save, I think I know why it is, but I think I'll save my theory for the end game when, for the near end okay. when we get well, it. That's fine. Whoa. Hey, oh, this is a side doing? quest. Hey, how about some fishing, little buddy? I only charge you 10 rupees. Why do video games want to always incorporate a fishing mini game? <laughs> well, I mean, this is really basic shit. I know it's basic, but this shit's never fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ocarina of Time fishing. All right, so our goal is to get a certain fish, and it's that over there inside that little house of his. I thought it was the one all the way down there. No, the one on the right, the big fish. No, no, not you. Get up my line! It's a runt! I'll only give you five rupee prize for that. No! You should try again. Fine, I will. We want that little one. We want that big one over there. That big motherfucker over there. Caesar? Yeah, well, you know we're going to call him Caesar. Big, big, big Caesar. That's why I always called the fish in Ocarina of Time. We'll name it Big Caesar. No, you motherfucker. I didn't want you. I meant to reel in. Reel in, goddammit. <laughs> Not with the fish on it, ideally. You That's got fun. trash. Well, the thing is... um. The small runs are worth five. Big ones are worth 20, I think. But there's a reason why we want that fish over there. He's not only worth 20 rupees. He's worth a piece of heart. Right, he, oh. he swallowed it, I think. Yeah. But yeah, it's funny. Fish will eat anything they see, so... I never ran into a... That oh, shit. No! God damn it. No! Well, at least I'm guaranteed to get the piece of heart now. And I might just get the other fish on the left out of pure principle. Spite. Yeah. <laughs> Spite for the one on the right. <laughs> what did I do to you? Glug, glug, glug. It's not genocide if you leave one left. <laughs> but it's actually twice as sadistic. He yeah, gets to mourn. He gets to mourn, but he gets to share stories. Yeah. I hate fishing minigames. <laughs> Catchy minigame theme, though. Oh, it is, but fishing minigames always suck. Come on. Grab the fucking hook. A little closer, Johnny. Just gotta get a little closer. Stop being a hermit! Yo, you should definitely be eating this thing by now. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let's reel it in. 
There it is. Oh, it's a big one. And it has a piece of heart, too. Hopefully I'll it's just not, take that. It's not his. <laughs> That's actually more of a I need to bring that up. <laughs> okay, let's get the last fish. At least we get a... We'll be back. No, we actually have about, what? A 15 rupee profit out of all this and a piece of heart. That's right. The asshole charges you 10 rupees a fish, right? Yes. I want to jerk off. Might as well just finish this off. Why not? <laughs> Give a man a couple of fish. Feed him for a few hours. Teach a man how to fish. Clear the lake. Feed him for a... What? <laughs> Teach a man how to fish. Clear the lake. <laughs> Everyone starves. No, where are you going? Come back here. Oh, I thought you were you were giving me the string. Oh, nice fish. It's a lunker. I'll give you a 20 rupee prize. Try again. <laughs> what do you want? Do I got fish? The fucking coral reef? <laughs> Drown him. Need to have more passion. Live a little. Fuck you. I took every fish! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing for you. You're if going to starve and die. Motherfucker, that doesn't scream passion. I don't know what does. <laughs> You're a dick. Not a dick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Y crane game. Is that a Yoshi doll? So why is Yoshi and a, and a nerd here? Well, the nerd runs this place. And of course the nerd's going to have a Yoshi plush. So. <laughs> okay, let's get our important item first. Which is? Just make sure that the Yoshi doll is clean before you grab it. Yes. Are we really playing a crane game? Yeah. No, Ellie, we're uh, playing a crane game. This is actually really fucking easy. Thankfully for the nice uh, error of margin. Er, uh, margin, margin of error. Of error. <laughs> error of margin. Sounds like I am error. for a cake. <laughs> I am error. Yeah. <laughs> I am Mo. Hey, thank you. I, I am Mo. Mar it's, it's short for margin of error. <laughs> You got a Yoshi doll. Recently, he seems to be showing up in uh, many games. Where the butthole is oddly sticky. <laughs> yeah. Ew. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> All right. Ew. Challenge again? Yeah, why not? Because uh, there's, a, there's a few things we can win here, including those rupees, which are worth 30. Ooh. And there is a trick to always getting them. Let's show it off. All right, mug the nerd. the crane over here. Yeah, mug the head. Yeah, <laughs> rob the store. Okay, let's uh, wait. Uh, okay, that should be good. Left, right there nice. we go. How, how's he? How does shop? A, how does shop at pawn shops in Hyrule? First, <laughs> you go to your local pawn shop. Second, rob it. Rob the pawn shop. <laughs> that's pretty much what you do in Hyrule. Oh wow, that's a that's a hefty price. Look at my sword here with a nice coupon on it. Everything in the store, mine one time only. <laughs> Uh, sir, that doesn't make sense. It makes sense to me. Give me everything. So the trick to always getting the rupee is to move the crane to the far co left corner with the B button. And then once the rupee in question gets to around the center of the right conveyor belt, hit the A button. Just tap it. The crane will start dropping and the rupee will always be right underneath the hook as soon as it pulls up. Hmm. Easy money. We're gonna, Actually, we're going to be doing this until we get to 210. Cut. See you then. Should be our last set of rupees. Come to link. I mean, I say. I say come. I, I, I say. say come to. I say. I say come to. I, I say. I say. <laughs> His head just explodes right there. <laughs> He's got to see that to the logical conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking robot. All right, we got 226 rupees. You know, may see, you know. Hey, at the very least, you know, it's not like. Uh, it's not like when I had to grind all those rupees and sell the one for the blue ring early. Ugh. It's much faster here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, oh, I hey, see uh, something you like? Just bring it here. Okay, I'll take this uh, shovel. Shovel. Let's take this uh, lawn dirt. If you don't mind. Nope, Pam. Okay, it's fine. Damn it. Deluxe shovel. <laughs> seems expensive. Huh? Fire oh, beware. We, we haven't seen expensive yet. Fire right. beware. It, see it seems expensive. I don't think you can afford. Jeepers! Holy shit, the bow is 980 rupees in this fucking game. God damn. I'm gonna get bombs. That makes me angry. <laughs> <laughs> Buy bombs, blow up the store. I gotta bomb, I gotta, gotta blow something up. <laughs> yeah, home, oh, Jesus. I mean, this is. We're gonna get this as soon as we possibly can, as soon as we reach that rupee quota. We could technically get it now. 
Because you can steal items in this shop. <laughs> you have to grab it, walk a very specific pattern so that you walk out while he's not looking, and you get the item for free. The thing is, is that that permanently renames your file to Thief. <laughs> and if you head back in here after stealing an item, he kills you. Jesus. He actually does. Like, he tasers you to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a tasering. That is fucking full force lightning. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like... Mystical shopkeep magic. Holy shit. <laughs> I need to be going mystical shopkeep. <laughs> okay. We got our items. We got the Yoshi doll. What do we do with the Yoshi doll? Well, why don't we head over yonder and see how the, everyone here is doing? Hello. Mickey Barbie Mouse. And you left the door open. Yep. Those are my boys. I'm Papa. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. That's terrible foreshadowing as fuck. <laughs> I got to get away from this fucking life yeah. I made. Hey, look for me, all right? Look, don't get me wrong. I thought it was just going to be, you know, a smash and dash. Oops. Kids, I'm, oh, kids, I'm going to perform a magic trick. I'm going to disappear. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Look, Daddy needs some uh, cigarettes. All right, we trade at the Yoshi doll for this red ribbon. It's so pretty. And then the, the child gets older. You know, Papa? I, I bet a female dog would love this. She would, wouldn't she? Not that dog. <laughs> I know a certain bitch that's going to love it. <laughs> Stop that! For God's sakes. What did I do to you? Oh, the chain shop! Makeup, jewels, dresses, <laughs> I want it all. He's eating your feet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that ribbon I needed. Will you trade for my dog food? What? Yeah, why not? Why not trade? Here are the bones! Well, I can at least eat the dog food. You exchange the ribbon for dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Yummy. Wait, this isn't dog food. How do you tell? It says, strengthens hooves. <laughs> You found a secret seashell. You collect a lot of these. Something good is bound to happen. I, I like how it just says a lot. Like, it doesn't give a specific yeah, number. it doesn't give you a specific number. It just says no. a lot. A lot. <laughs> you just collect enough of them, all right? Hey, you get, you get a lot. I, you do good by me. I do good by you. Capiche? 